Hi Pisces, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and this is your April mid-month reading. Yeah, it's a little early, but I wanted to get mid-months out because I have a lot going on in my life, and I wanted to make sure that they're uploaded to YouTube before things get out of control on my end. I've been picked up for a radio show. Yes, yes I have. They wanted me to commit to six months, but um, I decided that it would be in my best interest to do a pilot show see how it goes, and then commit from that point forward. So my radio show, my pilot radio show, is going to broadcast on April 17th at 3 o'clock Eastern Time, 1 o'clock Mountain Time. If you are before, during, or after that time frame, you can do the math and figure that out. I will post a little something to let you guys know a link and how it is that you can tune in if you'd like to. And I would love you to tune in and support me, right? So anyway, this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, please do not ever plan your life on a general reading, okay? I must have done 75 tarot card readings since the first of this month, and each and every one of them has had an overtone of what the general reading is, but each and every one of them have been completely and totally different because the cards come out based on you and your personal situation, right? And we tailor the reading to you and what you need to know and the information you need to have. So don't plan on a general reading, right? It's just that it's the general overtone. If y'all ever notice all of the readings, all of the general readings that come up on YouTube kind of sort of have the same tone to them, right? That's because that is the general air of energy that is based on that specific zodiac sign. So if there's something important going on in your life, get a hold of your favorite tarot card reader, and hopefully that's me, but get a hold of your favorite tarot card reader and get a personal reading, okay? Don't ever make decisions based on a general tarot card reading. They have a tendency to give a lot of false hope and a lot of information that is really not applicable to your personal situation. So if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at Deep Thoughts with Dana forward slash YouTube subscribers. For $50, we'll hook you up just for you, just for your situation. Otherwise, please do not take the advice of a general tarot card reading to heart, okay? All right, guys, here's your reading, and I do hope you enjoy. Namaste. Open up this reading with the sun card, right? The sun card is all about you seeing things crystal freaking clear for probably the first time in a long time. What follows this crystal clear vision is what usually follows crystal clear vision is a decision, right? This queen of swords is making a decision to cut something out of your life. And lo and behold, what do you do? You cut something out of your life. Ten of swords, an inevitable end to something that you have had enough with. And you see it clearly, you see it for what it is, and you're cutting it out of your life. This could be past, this could be present, this could be future for you, okay? This could be this could be five months ago, whatever, however this fits with you, okay? Because the tarot for me, my tarot readings, always like to give me a little bit of background. As a reader, they like to let me know what's going on in your life. So, and it usually brings back something that was a pivotal turning point in your life. For me, the, the, the cards bring forth to me something that was a pivotal turning point in your life. So this event that is happening right here in this top row, and there is no designation to the rows, it just happens to be how the tarot talks to me, okay? So this top row right here usually gives me background of what has been a pivotal turning point in your life, whether it was five minutes ago or five weeks ago five months ago. It gives me an outline of something pivotal that happened. So at some point in your past, Pisces, this happened and it was so poignant in your life that the tarot, the source, feels it necessary that I know about this particular sequence of events in your life, okay? So that's what that top row is about. You're seeing things clearly, cutting the bullshit out of your life putting an absolute ending to something. Temperance comes in and says that this it was not a willy-nilly decision, right? This was a, a purposeful decision because there's an imbalance 
in a situation. What kind of situation? Well, a relationship situation. Could be family, could be love, could be work, could be with your dog, Pisces. It doesn't matter. But there is some type of imbalance in your life that you now see clearly and you're cutting it out and putting an end to it. The Prince of Swords says, swift action, boom, done. Look at that sword, look at that sword. They're just like, nope, thou shall not pass, done. Okay, wow, tough Pisces, Barracuda Pisces, Barracuda Pisces, right? The Prince of Wands tells me that you have frustration, frustration in the situation and the moon card says that there's some anxiety going on about it you've really you're really digging down into your subconscious mind and your intuition and you're trying to figure out what this meant to you in your life and if this happened a long time ago then you still haven't dealt with it and that's why the tarot is telling me that that this is what's going on with you if this is fresh and it just happened you're probably in the middle of fear and anxiety and just really searching your subconscious mind and your intuition to uh to to give the final blow okay you're giving it one last good freaking think right here right Permit one last good freaking think because what you're thinking about doing what you are doing Pisces is you are walking away with the eight of cups you're walking away death comes in and says you're really walking away nothing and something like death right and then we have the king of swords which is the <laughs> the buck stops here final decision kind of guy right so Pisces we have frustration anxiety, the hermit, decision made with the king of swords to walk away with the eight of cups, death being an absolute ending. So that's what that is right there, right? So that's what happened in your past, Pisces. That's what happened in your past. So new day, new chapter, new story. This is Pisces just, just, just owning it, right? Just owning it right here. Just owning it. Since then, or if this is happening for you now, soon you will be in the energy of the Nine of Cups. Ending this thing right here, was the best thing you could have ever done because now you, this is a card of wishes fulfilled right it's the best thing that you could have done and it has contributed greatly to your happiness in your life king of cups comes in and says that you you feel good right you feel you feel good you're the nine of cups your wishes is fulfilled Things are going good. You feel good in your feels. You feel good about yourself. You have emotional balance, control, security, right? You're rolling right here, Pisces. You're rolling. You're just rolling. Because, because of this, Ace of Swords says absolute mental clarity that brought about a tower moment and I'm sure it was a tower moment for the receiving end of this as well right it brought about a tower moment chaos confusion upheaval in your life because it was a revelation and an awakening with that Sun card right there right and it caused I mean boom right a ten of cups says where there was an imbalance in your life before there is now balance and harmony and alignment. The wheel comes in and says that this decision-making process right here, this, this tower moment, this cutting off of whatever this is right here, the result of that is the wheel, the wheel of fortune, right? A turning point in your destiny life cycles changing one life cycle ending a new life cycle beginning right 
so you all through all this whole breakup thing right here you turned out good right you 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 turned out good this wheel is going to put you on a new journey in your life a new beginning and a new journey in your life this new journey in your life is going to lead you to the empress it's going to lead you to abundance total and complete abundance and again the nine of cups wishes fulfilled comfort happiness and satisfaction the three of pentacles comes in and says that you have teamwork and collaboration there's teamwork and collaboration in your life whatever that means for you you are coming together with another or more and you are building planning you're, you're, you're laying the foundation to build something business family you could be building a house right here for all I know but you're laying down plans to build something in your life with the three of Pentacles these guys are talking construction right here right she's got something she wants done he's the builder he's the money man right there okay I mean seriously that's what it is we got her wanting it built him paying to have it built and him building it okay so that's the whole energy that's going on there it is what it is the king of Pentacles comes in and says okay so you have the teamwork and collaboration thing going on the king of Pentacles comes in and says you are building security control power discipline and abundance in your life you are building security home family she's a builder right the Queen of Pentacles she, she's a builder she's down to earth she represents security so building preparing to build what you're going to build security control power discipline abundance the completion of the build home family security structure to the Queen of Wands Queen of Wands well shit I mean her her genuine definition the Queen of Wands is exuberance warmth vibrancy and determination and honestly Pisces I think that's you in this reading yeah I know it's it's a fire sign but yeah, this is the energy that you're taking on right here you're a badass and you've accomplished a lot and you've pushed forward and you left this behind and it was the best thing you could have ever done for yourself because look at you now look at you now Pisces how you like me now so this middle row right here this is the the rise of Pisces right here the rise of Pisces and good stuff is going on in your life right here good stuff come down here to this third row starts out with the three of wands this three of wands is about preparation and foresight to the seven of Pentacles which is investing so the three of wands preparation and foresight or yeah preparation foresight investing sowing seeds for a new chapter balance prepare to invest in a new chapter hold on Pisces I got to figure this out okay hold on because I do this blind right I mean I do I put the clarifying cards down I get the gist of what's going on but I don't I don't read them I just clarify until I'm directed to do otherwise right okay so the three of wands um, the three of wands is going to be waiting it's going to be expansion it can be about delays though delays and reaping your reward 
No, 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 that's not it either. So the three of wands. <laughs> Preparation, foresight. Hmm. Okay, guys, I got it. I got it. I, got, I paused the camera because I had to pee to tell you the truth. <laughs> so anyway, seriously though. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So we have the three of wands, right? This three of wands is about preparing. You're preparing for your future. You've got all this awesome stuff going on. You're preparing for your future. The seven of pentacles says you're working hard, invest in your time and energy. The world card says that you're accomplishing things. And the two of pentacles says that you have balance in your life. Things are freaking good for Pisces, right? So here comes this little odd pocket right here. I was like, what the hell is all of this, right? So here's what this is. This little pocket right here, if we want to do it like it orderly, this should be right here. And then we should start this new pocket right here, okay? Give you some, some fluidity. So the Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold. The Two of Pentacles, because somebody was juggling. The Ace of Pentacles, in love. The Three of Swords, it created pain. The Four of Cups, you've thought about this a lot. You've re-evaluated, evaluated, re-evaluated, re and thought about this a lot. This is very emotional for you this broke your heart i mean if y'all have ever had like a real broken heart oh there's no pain like a real broken heart there's just not so lots of emotion right um the empress says that you were codependent on this person meaning like you had to not, not codependent but you were dependent on this person because the empress on the flip side is about codependency on others right so you guys were like a couple i mean like together like like building a life together right justice comes in and says that there is going to be fairness where there was unfairness there's going to be justice where there was an injustice injustice and Truth will be spoken. So there's this, all this bad happened, right? You left somebody out in the cold. They left you out in the cold. You left each other out in the cold, whatever. Somebody was juggling some shit that they shouldn't have and had some feels in the game right there. This caused a broken heart for somebody, you, them, both of you, probably, the Four of Cups comes in and said, says that um, this is something that you still contemplate and think about. You, 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 it still bothers you. The Ace of Cups, because it, it jacks with your feels. It jacks with your feels because you were, you were codependent on this person, for a lack of a better explanation dependent on this person. You guys were together, right? Maybe your finances were together. Maybe you have kids together. Maybe you have some of something else that meshes you together, but you were together. The chariot card comes in and says that there is going to be justice card comes in and says that there is justice being applied to this bad situation. And the chariot comes in and says that you that there's going to be forward motion, okay? And this is going to make more sense as we get on down here. But justice comes in and says that this is going to be corrected right here in your favor. And the chariot says that the steamroller is beginning. Locomotion is starting to, uh, to, to go, right? And there's, there's going to be justice, but it's, it's coming. It's coming. Justice is coming is what that chariot means. The nine of pentacles. There you are, Pisces, right back up to here. Um, a self-sufficient, independent person. The ten of pentacles, just banging them out, right? Banging out those pentacles. Eight of pentacles, working hard, doing your thing, right? Four of Wands comes in, though, and says that you're about to make some kind of a transition. This transition has, it, it causes indecision 
right? Indecision and uh, it's it's a choice that you have to make that you can't quite make with the Two of Swords. The Emperor, this is about this decision that you can't quite make is about the structure of your very life, the foundation of your life. And it has something to do with your success or your momentum or your, I don't know, let's see what these say, it has something to do with the foundation of your world, yes, and your, your success or your career. Or it could have to do with somebody who has the energy of a king of wands, right? Some kind of some kind of adorable dude who's all cocky and confident, right? Or, or chick. I'm a chick. I, I like dudes. That's why I said dude, but could be a chick. Two of Wands comes in and says that you are planning for your future. And that's what this decision is back here. That's what this transition and this, this confusion or indecision is about right here. Planning for your future. Swift movement. Action. Speed. Towards the Six of Cups. Or from the Six of Cups. Nope. Nope. Two of Wands. This is about decisions. It's not about planning for your future. It's about decisions. It's about it's about fear of the unknown. Okay? So there you go. That's the indecision. That's where this comes from right here. It's about that affects your life, right? It's about fear of the unknown right there. And there is swift communication coming in about reconciling and reuniting with someone from your past or something from your past, okay? Now, I was stumped on this card and I, I, I did all of these cards and I still didn't get my answer. <laughs> and I put it down and went back to the beginning of this reading and um, asked for clarification again. And after all these cards and I asked for clarification, this card came out. So Six of Cups was clarified by six of cups. So there is swift communication coming into you about reconciling or reuniting with someone or something from your past. The two of wands, it represents fear of the unknown because when this information comes in, that's what leads back to the indecision right here and the transition right there, right? This is communication about regenerating something that was put to death perhaps this up here this communication from someone from your past about reuniting and reconciling and regenerating something from the dead something that you thought was just wishful thinking and honestly, the Seven of Cups is also about temptation. So just keep that in mind right there, okay? Temptation. This causes a lot of internal conflict. And a lot of um, thinking, soul searching, right? Right? The Moon card is about your subconscious mind and your intuition, right? And it's about dealing with repressed emotions and inner confusion as well. So if you had a relationship with this person in the past, because if you're reuniting or reconciling, you obviously had a connection in the past somehow, right? So this moon card tells me that something happened in the past that's still on your mind that you just don't quite trust. The Queen of Pentacles comes in. Something that you just don't trust about the sincerity 
and the true intentions of this reuniting and reconciling because the queen of pentacles she's as pure and true and honest and and good as they come right so you don't trust this person's intentions so this incoming communication about reconciling and reuniting with this person that you killed it off with in the past creates a tower moment in your life i mean right just creates a tower moment totally just freaks you the hell out puts you in the nine of swords right uh despair anxiety can't sleep at night <laughs> hopeless tormented depending upon how you feel about this person right but anyway all up in your head hard all up in your head hard but you do see this as as what you want this is what you what you want but for some reason you just all freaked out about it the knight of pentacles comes in and says that that this has been a long time coming and so slow that at one point you wanted it but now you're not so sure because it's been such a constant thing in your life that you're just really not sure if, you know, once once faced with the choice to reconcile and reunite with this person, now you're like, ah, I don't know. And it's a burden for you. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. Because you do have a lot of passion for this person. You do have a lot of passion for this person. Hangman says that you need to think about all this for a minute. And you do. In the hangman energy, you come to the conclusion that you have manifested this person into your life. You have manifested this person into your life somehow, some way. I don't know. It doesn't say if this was a personal reading, I could tell you everything about this, but it's not. So whatever and however it fits with you, it's just a general reading, right? Um, the magician says that you've manifested. So in hangman mode, you realize that you've you've manifested this king of pentacles character or an earth energy character of some sort or somebody that just resembles an earth energy right something to do with the king and the queen of pentacles i mean they're just everywhere right and the and the empress maybe you have maybe you have um um, earth in your sign or maybe the person you're dealing with has earth in their sign somewhere but there's a lot of earth going on here there really is there's a lot of earth so that means something to you or not there's a lot of earth going on so so you get the king of pentacles right and passionate messages the queen of swords making a decision truth is spoken right here right truth is spoken it ends up in celebration with the six of, of wands, public recognition. Yay, it's together, me and you. Victory, progress, and the star card. There's hope for this relationship. There's renewal on the horizon for this relationship. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality is what the star card is about. Choose one, right? Because it's yours. It's the star card. So there you go, Pisces. It looks like you booted somebody out a, a while back. You're doing really, really good. Growing, growing, succeeding, achieving all the way along. But back to this broken heart right here that happened from this up here. Justice says that, that these cards say that justice is coming soon what's that mean well here you are back to the just going right along your business succeeding like a motherfucker just doing your thing and doing it well and then we have this weird right we have some kind of of a of a transition that is about to take place in your life but it's kind of like behind the scenes transition you really don't know it's a transition yet because you're not transitioning till the end of these cards. But there's a transition that's coming in, in, in your life. Something's going to change. 
Two of Swords says, you know this, and you intuitively know this, and it causes confusion and indecision with you. This is about the, the structure of your life with the King of Wands. It directly if affects everything, everything. And I, and I do believe now, looking again, that this King of Wands is an actual energy that is the culprit over here, right? This King of Wands character. So the Two of Wands comes in and says, Two of Wands comes in and, and says, um, decisions. You have to make decisions, right? And you have a fear of the unknown as well. And you have to make decisions. So, you know, these guys really should go together like this, right? Fear of the unknown. Because there's swift movement coming in from somebody that wants to reconcile and reunite with you from the past. They want to raise, they want to resurrect something from the dead. Something that you thought was just wishful thinking, right? Or, or this confuses the hell out of you, right? I think it confuses the hell out of you more than more than it was just wishful thinking, but it could be both. It confuses the hell out of you. Bunch of conflict with the five of wands. The moon card says that you have repressed emotions about all of this bullshit that went on over here and up here, right? You're not quite ready to forgive and forget yet. You don't trust this person's intentions with the queen of pentacles and the moon card. You just don't trust their their you don't trust it the tower moment comes in and says this causes a lot of freaking anxiety and just absolute just turmoil for you for a good minute because you want this or at least you wanted it with the ten of pentacles you did but it was so slow getting here it was so slow getting here that it's a it's a struggle for you to um to 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 maybe find the the drive the wherewithal to actually go forward with some kind of reconciling or reuniting with somebody right because you're, you're you're doing good and this really just kind of came out of nowhere for you it really did it just came out of nowhere this king of wands character right here just kind of showed up and he's like hey pisces what's up and Pisces is like, what? <laughs> what? And this, uh, yeah, so you're not really sure if you just, you know, so you go into hangman mode and you think about it, pause, surrender, come out on the other side with a new perspective. The perspective is that you would maybe like to go ahead and manifest this into your life. Now, this is free will. If your reading stops here, don't listen to the rest of it, right? But for those of you who do choose to go forward, um, you're going to manifest uh, this King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign embodying kind of person into your life. There's going to be passionate messages between the two of you that results in a very serious truth being spoken that ends up in the six of wands which is public recognition victory progress and self-confidence with hope faith renewal spirituality on the horizon pick one it's the star card hope faith renewal purpose and spirituality they all belong to you you can have them all you can choose one whichever one fits you because they're all yours it's the star card right okay so there you go, Pisces. That is your bonus reading. Oh, yeah. Over here. I forgot about these guys. Do I have time? I have a reading to do in a minute. Hold on. I got to check. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. I'm late. I got to go. Okay. So that is your reading, Pisces. Just to let you know, Wheel of Fortune was on the table, a turning point in your destiny. Got to go. Thanks. Bye-bye. Namaste. Hey, if you want a reading from me, deepthoughtswithdana.com.